of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My beloved one today is 19th day of October being Thursday. I read this will be coming from St. Paul letter to the Romans chapter 3, verse 21 to 30. I read this to Psalm come from Psalm 130, verse 7 B.C. Our gospel message will come from Luke gospel chapter 40, 11, verse 47 to 54. The theme of our message today is Woe to you, the faithless. Woe to you, the faithless. Today, Jesus began to address people who are not faithful to God, but faithful to their traditions and to their personal idiosyncrasy. Now, when today Jesus said, Woe to you, for you blind, you build the tombs of of prophets whom your father killed. You build the tombs of the prophets your father killed. So you are witness and consent to the deeds of your fathers. You see the implication. You are witnesses and you consent to the deeds of your fathers. That's the implication of it. When you go the path of your father, when you told the step of your father, all the causes that are associated with your father will come out to you. You know, like people who take traditional titles this time in our community. All the causes associated with paganism will come upon you. Yes, you share in it. This is by sharing the death of the prophets their father killed because they associate themselves with it. Building the tools, witnessing for it, and consenting to it, as Jesus put it. Therefore, so the wisdom of God has said, that they, you will send this prophet, some they will kill, some they will do this. And you have not fulfilled it. Yes. And they say because of this, the blood of Abel, from the blood of, blood of Abel to the death of Zachariah, who came in the sanctuary, you will give a prayer to give a comfort. And then these are lawyers who are faithful to themselves. They believe that the, 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 that the core of life that the learned ones, others are not learned. You took away the key of knowledge. You never use it and never allowed us to enter it. Just a cause be upon you, warn you. You have opportunity, to, you have opportunity to live for truth, and but you turn against the truth. Have opportunity to go for light, but you prefer darkness. Have opportunity to go for goodness, before, but you prefer badness. You have opportunity to go for life, but you prefer death. You have all the good, bad things, good, you have all the bad things against bad people, but you have nothing bad about a good person can, can produce badness. And now why today Paul was making us to understand that our, our faith should be in Jesus Christ. And he has paid the price of this sin and brought us in reconciliation with the Father. So our faith will now be in that mid work he accomplished. No more your own work. What can you do? All of to measure up with the sacrifice as offered. So, faith now, no more in works, no more in this, but on the faith in Christ who redeemed us. And that's why the psalmist who understood this so will say, that without faith in God, you will be cursed. But when you have faith in Christ, you will be saved. Our poor will begin them to understand this. Now, what the psalmist who understood this so well today, they say, with the Lord there is mercy. In him is plentiful redemption. Yes, it's in him. There's plentiful redemption. In him there is mercy. Since we know that today, that without faith in God, you stand to be cursed. But when you have faith in God, the only begotten Son of God, who is, of God sent his only Son to save us. If you have no faith in what he has done, what is will you have faith upon? In your work, it's not true. 
Then the monarch just celebrates them, that great prophets of the church. And we're celebrating what St. John, St. Paul of the cross. This is a young man, Francis Daniel, born in Italy in 1694, and began to evangelize with great zeal and power. He founded the Passionists. Then he took the name of Paul of the Cross because of his union with the Cross of Christ, the, Christ, the Cross of Redemption, the practice of sea life mortification, and stressing both in his life and teaching the mystery of the Cross. That's what will center his life upon. On being justified by faith in Christ. And to have faith in him, not on any other thing else. Our friends will put any shot of faith in Christ is adoratory. And God help us understand that faith in Christ is the ultimate. We ask through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May the blessings of Almighty God be upon all of us. I will celebrate our ability to live by faith in Christ. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Peace be with you. Oh, yeah.